Well, it's just past 6 a.m. on a humid summer's morn. And we're about to head out for our great Guangdong adventure. Bikes are more or less loaded. And uh, yeah, looks like we're ready to go. Beer Thanks girl's got a protection. Ah, oh, you better do that, eh? Yeah. I got the map. Look at them. 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 Well, um, here we are at our first stop. We left at. Well, it's already 8 now. We left at 6 30. <laughs> Have we already been on the road for an hour and a half? Left maybe quarter two. Hour and a quarter, yeah. Been on the road for already an hour and a quarter, eh? One hour and a half, well. Quarter two, wasn't it, by the time we got done? Right, right, all right. Ah, it's a chair. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, good, good. Uh, good. Uh, so, beer girl. Yeah, beer girl's having noodles. We hit some really nice twisties on the way out. Uh, now we're hitting the. We're outside Shenzhen now, so we're hitting all the crappy urban areas. It'll be a while till we see some nice roads again, I reckon. Yeah, probably. Um, mm, what a nice at egg. Least, at least a couple of hours. So, so far she's holding up really well, vibrates a lot though, um, so yeah, hands are a little tingly and numb, but other than that, uh, all good. I mean, she's doing surprisingly well. It's Martin's Beast. Anyway, back to... Still recording, babe. Okay, babe, babe. Let's go. Oh, look at this. Oh, that guy's bike screwed. Rice paddies, mountains. Hey, babe, say hi for the camera. <laughs> uh, we are now, it is now half past 10. So we drove on for almost two hours without stopping now. Um, and wow, I can't explain to you how beautiful this road we just came through is. It's just gradual twisties through like you know this tree-lined road with rice paddies and mountains all around you now we've just hit the little village or town at the bottom so it's pretty crap compared to what we've just been through uh, if there's any way I can do it I will film a little bit of it on the way back but it's just amazing absolutely amazing bikes are holding up nicely except uh, I've lost my license plate okay all right Go and enjoy yourself. Well, mate, number plate mark two when we get back with metal. Yeah, I've, I've got enough stuff in there to make another one, eh? Oh, right. Yeah, I bought it along just in case. But, uh... There's no reason why we couldn't do that one, mate. No reason at all. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tom, you went. <laughs> Have a that's good okay. We'll think a good one for Yeah, you. that's all right. I've actually got the proper numbers and everything, all right? Yeah. Anyway, absolutely fantastic. We're going to take a rest and then we're heading out again. Right, cheers. Beer girl is sleeping on the bike. She's worried she will sleep. 
<laughs> Lots of firecrackers going off because it's May the 1st, which is a big holiday here. There's quite a few bloody fireworks. So here we are um, overlooking quite an awesome valley. See up there a couple of graves. <laughs> Beer girls over there. Martins are somewhere over here and old Tom. Anyway, absolute, absolutely amazing scenery, amazing twisties in the mountains, been absolutely amazing, you know. If only it was possible to do this kind of thing legally, I'll explain later. Yeah, so who knows, somebody came for the scenery. Absolutely amazing. How long do you reckon till we reach that Korean place or whatever? Uh, so I had a horrible thing. No idea. But yeah, it is absolutely amazing out here. Some of the, the roads have been going through, the little towns. Although it's quite hazardous, there are cows on the road, little kids running out, people who don't know how to drive uh, scooters and bicycles. You see that one, uh, Martin, that guy was in front of me on the bicycle and he just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, bloody hell. Anyway. So, um, now I have no idea where we are, but it is uh, 12.35, some little town, village, gonna have lunch over here. Big power station nearby here, so it went from beautiful windy roads in the mountains and beautiful mountains to rather horrible. See there's a cow over there on the other side of the road. It's one of the very many problems. Cows. Anyway. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, as you can see, the bikes are uh, encrusted with mud because we've been having rain on and off. It's pretty horrible, but it works. Hey. Hey, babe. Um, check the menu. Order what you want. guy can do eh, on his on his little scooter go for it mate oh yeah oh nice <laughs> not bad it's gonna go again it's gonna fall oh impressive <laughs> yeah anyway we're putting in juice Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. 
Well, there's only so much of that you can watch. We're going along very nicely, our bikes. Completely muddied up. Great. Okay, now we're going to try and take some footage of uh, some of these lovely twisties. I'll show you where we are. Beautiful. You okay, babe? What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so we're just uh, going down some horribly muddy, disgusting roads now, as you can see. Um, here we go, too. Uh, basically, Tom's down there doing a recce. There's a lot of construction going on in this, in this mountain. And this horrible mud shit is incredibly slippery and dangerous. It's like peat. And uh, it's very easy to fall if you're not careful. Luckily, none of us have, so let's keep it that way. But yeah, wonderful. 